All right, guys, it's finally the day where we add some more aero to the GTS. We aren't gonna waste any time because believe it or not, it's gonna start raining in about an hour. So let's get right into it. First things first, we gotta open the box. And there we go with the box open. Here we have the carbon wing, the adhesion promoter, the screws, and the weather stripping. But without further ado, let's open this. Oh, ho, ho. oh my goodness. This, wow, it's actually pretty big. So this is the carbon fiber wing for the GT, GTS, and GTC. I don't know if it's the same size or bigger than the GTR wing. No idea, but it looks beautiful. And finally, this rear end is coming together. Now we finally have something to match this carbon. So over here, as you can see, there's this trim piece in the trunk. All you have to do, hey, that was easy. You just pop it off like that. Okay, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and took out the two screws. All you need is a T20. It's just like a tool kit that you can just buy on Amazon. So I also bought this trim removal kit on Amazon too, I think like 10 bucks maybe. But after you remove the screws, all you have to do is unclip the uh, trunk lining and it's gonna take a little bit of force. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Yep, did you guys hear that sound? That's good news. Your side loops. The side. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Those are some Pretty. good sounds right there. Probably like one or two more to go. Oh, this seems like the last one. Let me lower this a little bit. We have two wires over here. All you have to do is just unplug it. That's all you gotta do. Just pull it off. And there we go. I'm gonna put this in the grass real quick. Actually, I don't want no bugs laying eggs in this, so I'm putting it in the garage. <laughs> now, this is what we're gonna need. This is a socket wrench set, which I also bought on Amazon. If you guys look over here, there are these little screws that we have to unscrew. There's a lot. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Just spin it around town. Like that SpongeBob episode. Bring it around town. Alright, guys, we are on the last one. Just be careful with this last one. So that way the wing doesn't just go flying. Last one. Done. Huh. That's on there pretty good. Maybe there's like some kind of tape on the inside too. I can feel it coming off. I don't see any more. I think it's just the tape really strong. It's not coming off. Six and a half hours later. All right, so the reason why we're having so much difficulty is because with my trim tool here, I can see, can you guys see that white sticky goopy mess in there? Bruh. Yeah, there we go. This side seems pretty loose now. There we go, let's do the other side. Okay, last piece. Let's push it from the inside. Oh, there we go. Wing is off completely. Whew. Let's compare the wings. Let's go inside. Look at that difference. It's definitely longer and wider. And obviously, carbon. Cora, do you want to help me install my wing? Okay, let's go, come. So here are the new screws that we're gonna use. And then here's some weather stripping that we have to install. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Let's wipe it down. A little bit of alcohol, and then to start cleaning. We're gonna use this adhesion promoter and put it all along the edge over here. And then we're gonna use the weather stripping and just apply it there. So, should probably wear gloves for this, but it is what it is. We're just gonna go around, apply the adhesive promoter to this entire edge where the weather stripping is gonna be. And again, make sure that you guys clean it with alcohol before doing this. I used 91%. Slowly just go around. 
Obviously don't cover the areas where the screws are gonna go. This weather stripping material is very easy to use. If a big idiot like me can do this, you can do it too. You can easily just rip it off with your fingers. Now comes the difficult part. We have to move the carbon wing without dropping it. Even though this is bigger than the soft wing, it's lighter. Carbon fiber, baby. We are going to align it with the trunk. Make sure all the edges kinda fit. So now that we have it all aligned up, she is so cute. But look at me. I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws in by hand. And just to make sure that the trunk doesn't go flying up, I'm actually gonna bring it down and rest it on my shoulder like a crazy person. We got one screw in. Can I get another one? And again, we're just gonna do the outside real quick. Right now, obviously, you don't wanna tighten them all like the tightest it can go. Okay, I got two in on this side. We're gonna go to the other side and put two more. Nothing is completely tightened down because we have to do a quick test. And that's to see how the weather shipping is holding up. So we're just gonna run some water in. We just wanna make sure that there's no leaks. And we can tell if we look at the inside. So here we go. If there's any leaks, I'll cry. We'll wait probably like a minute and let's see if there's any water. How's your guys' day been so far? It's like 100 degrees out here. We've been installing this for the last one and a half hours. What, guys, doesn't it look so good? Everything looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. We're gonna go from side to side. All right, let's lower the trunk. Click, 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 boom. Now we have to put the other screws back in. Like I said, these ones were T20. Let's drop this. Bada bing, bada boom. But there we go. Look at the new wing. Let me know what you guys think of the new wing. Comment below. With that being said, this video is finally done. It's like 100 degrees, but I'm gonna go clean up my mess and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're both dying of heat stroke and my camera woman, she deserves a 25 cent raise. That'll put her at $3 an hour.